Hey, Mass Legends. We're actually going to be looking at something called expanded notation, which is where we're going to be writing and reading and comparing and ordering numbers to thousands. This is where we break down a number into little smaller chunks. Now, the reason we need to know this is this is really handy when we're actually counting or dealing with money. And I know everybody here loves a little bit of money. Okay, let's see what we need to be able to do by the end of this video. So we need to be able to identify place values of a number in the decimal. We have to be able to expand a number using decimals as well as being able to expand it using fractions. And we need to be able to compare fractions and decimals in their expanded forms and see which ones are the same and which ones are different. Now here is a real prime example of how we expand a number with our expanded notation. Now, in this case, we have 4.725. And what does that is that actually made up of? It's made up of four ones, seven tenths, two hundredths, and five thousandths. Now, there's two ways that we can write this number down. The first way that we can write this number down and expand it is we can do it in decimal notation. Now, decimal notation means that we show the actual value in its place with its little zeros or gap fillers in around it. So here, like this one here, we know we've got two hundredths. Well, this is our hundredths house. So then we fill in our gaps with 0 0.02. The other way that we can do it is do it in a fraction notation. Now, a fraction notation, if we live in the tenths house, like we do here with our uh, seven tenths, we put our seven over the top and we know that it is tenths and we put our 10 down the bottom. Our two lives in the hundreds, so we put two at the top and we put 100 down the bottom for our hundreds. Five thousands, five over the top, thousands down the bottom. Now, here are some examples so we can split it up for you. Now, I know my uh, whole numbers quite well. So I have, my six really means 600,000. I'm going to add a plus symbol in the middle. My three really means 30,000. Now, the way I can do that is I can go, there's my three, and I've got one, two, three, four spots. So that makes four zeros plus, and I'm going to go 9,000 plus 400. And see again, four is here, one, two, zeros plus 80 plus two. Now this is where it starts to get harder. I then put another plus. I look at my one. If I'm gonna do it in decimal form, I'm going to go zero point and my one is in my next house. I've then got my five and I go plus and I know it is zero point zero five. And I know that because I've got to fill where the one was. I'm gonna go plus. Zero point, and I've got one, two gaps to fill. One, two, and I put my seven in. This is now been expanded, and every single one of those digits in my number has now got its own individual value by itself with a plus sign in the middle. I'm going to do the same for the second one, but this time I'm going to use fractions. So I have 3,000 plus 300 plus 80 plus 8 plus. Now, I have 7, 0, and 7 over thousands. So I'm going to put 7 tens plus, and now I could do 0 hundreds and 7 thousands. Now, I actually don't need this one. So I could cross that out and I could remove it. And I could actually do that really quickly here with my rubber. And I could leave it as, oops, that one didn't work, thousands. It's a little bit trickier. Let's have a look at some for you. We need to do in decimal uh, form. And in the bottom one, we need to do a fraction. I'll remind you in the top with decimal, fill your zeros into the gaps. In your bottom one, really important to make sure that you're putting your tenths, hundreds, and thousands house in a fraction. Stop the video now. Have a go, please.
Right, you're back. Excellent. Let's have a look. 5,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 2 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.04. Now, a lot of people ask me with this, do I have to put my zero in before the decimal? The zero and the decimal always go together. It allows that decimal to be seen in our answer. The next one, I'm going to go 2,000 plus 100 plus 30 plus 1. Now remember, I want this one in fractions, so it's going to be 3 tenths, 100 and 2 thousandths. Fantastic, guys. You've just expanded numbers using decimals in two different ways, decimal and fractions. Well done.